Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I thought I would try out the Mentholatum Melty Cream Lip Balm. I've seen this a lot in my feeds, a lot of the ads in my social feeds and pretty much everywhere online, everywhere I go online, I pretty much see the, these ads. These Melty Cream Lip Lip Balm has been sent to me. I have it, I mean, I've gotten it from PR. They sent to me, I think, a couple of weeks back. I didn't really think too much about reviewing them at first because I, <laughs> I mean, it's only just two products and it's lip balm. I don't know what can I talk about lip balms in general unless it's like I'm super, super into it or maybe specifically like, oh, it's all natural organic kind of lip balm. Then yes, I would review it because then you have more things to talk about. But these are not natural lip balms. These are not even organic lip balms also. They are pretty much lip balms that you can find over the counter or in pharmacy. Specifically, you can find in Guardian, Watson's and maybe even a few other places but because I've been seeing a lot of ads recently so I thought you know what I would try it out and also because I am pretty much a lip balm hoarder specifically the clear lip balm type I'm a user of lip balms I use a lot of lip balms I have lip balms everywhere I'm just one of those type of person where I place a clear lip balm you know on my working desk one on my vanity one part in my drawer the, the drawer right beside my bed, one in my back. So I have multiple lip balms, like, okay? I do have a lot of lip balms. I have a lot of experience with lip balms as well. And I have specific needs when it comes to lip balms also. I don't know who come up with the name of this because it's very hard to pronounce. I have two variants here. I think they only have two variants, okay? One is in Rich Honey. The other one is fragrance street both of them they have spf 25 pa plus plus for me personally i do not prefer to have my clear lip balm added with sunscreen because when i go out i like to use tinted lip balms okay then that one if you add like sunscreen in it i don't mind that but for regular lip balms usually i just use it at home usually i use it indoors and i usually like to use it before i go to bed stuff with spf i generally just don't apply before i go to bed or during the nighttime in general i'll probably just use this during the daytime lah, and we'll just see how okay i think i'm gonna try the rich honey one i'm not gonna open the fragrance free one i think it's gonna be exactly the same thing except the scent difference lah, okay there's no point of me opening both and then try both out for you it definitely does smell like honey so if you really don't like that honey scent then this is definitely not for you feels very comfortable very easy to glide on that little bit of that moisture look on the lips but it's not 100% like gloss gloss type of look the scent is not overpowering at all it's just very very light hint of a uh, honey scent yeah i think it's nice on the lips it gives you that little bit of a shine on the lips make your lips look a little bit healthy it's a creamy lip balm with moist bank technology that melt with your lip temperature and react with moisture in the air to keep lips hydrated oh that's interesting this is new this is interesting i've never actually had a lip balm that kind of reacts with the moisture in the air to keep your lips hydrated okay that's interesting i'm glad that i'm trying this out if you're allergic to some of the ingredients like mineral oil okay or even petroleum then you might want to avoid this okay but other than that in the middle part they seem to have quite a lot of nice oils in here such as olive oil jojoba oil avocado oil those are very very moisturizing ingredients which is good for the lips and they have ceramide as well in here okay 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 cool 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 so we'll see how okay i'll use this for a couple of days and then and I will get back to you guys on my full-on review. It's not the sticky type. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have that you know that string that kind of pulls between your top lip and the bottom lip. So it's not sticky. Yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. Going out time. Nobody can see your lips, so a clear balm would do. Mm-hmm. Your mask get ready. Don't keep blocking my light. Oh my god. <laughs> he keep blocking my light. Let go. Hello there, what's up guys? Welcome back. So this is how much I've used after two weeks. 
I would think that I've used quite a lot of it. Kind of made a little bit of that weird kind of like dent in the center of the lip balm. I really use it every single day because I really want to put this to the test. I think overall this is an okay lip balm. I wouldn't say that this is like my favorite, favorite lip balm on earth. I wouldn't say that this is life-changing. I wouldn't think that this is anything miraculous or anything super different from the rest of the lip balms that I've tried before. This is definitely not the best lip balm, but it works. As a lip balm, it works okay as a lip balm. Like for maintenance-wise, for you to like temporary give moisture to your lips this is an okay lip balm definitely a very good option for me personally the scent is very very definitely very close to honey definitely smells very much like honey it's just that i feel like the scent of this might be a little bit too sweet for me personally i would opt for the fragrance free one lah it's definitely more of a balmy type of uh, lip balm not so much of that vaseline kind of glide not so much of that oiliness type of lip balm it has that sort of a uh, heavier texture to it in malaysian weather it has been pretty hot lately and so far even though when i go out it seems to hold on pretty well like the the stick still stays a stick it doesn't melt it doesn't go overly soft like the lip balm still stays solid so which is good yeah it's an all right lip balm i, I just don't think that it is anything too great about this nothing much to shout about i feel like a lot of their advertising or advertisement marketing propaganda has always said that this one is oh has sort of like a healing kind of property to it i don't particularly think that it heals anything whenever i had chapped lips lips that are dry and cracked and peeling sort of lips i don't think that this instantly heals my lips within a day after applying it or something like that no it doesn't i feel like i've tried other lip balms that are better that actually does help with that healing um, but this one is just more like any other lip balms that is for maintenance um, that's just so that you know to keep your lips hydrated don't dry out but if you're facing those kind of flaky cracked lips then you probably want to do other sort of treatment to it first then only go into maintenance with this kind of lip balm okay yeah it's an alright lip balm I, I don't really think there's anything special anything unique feel free to go and check it out if you're looking for a lip balm but just don't expect it to give you any sort of supernatural beautiful lips after using this okay okay so that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy i'll see you guys in my next video bye don't forget to like and subscribe